I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. It's time for our annual My Baseball Streaming Setup video for 2023. I'm going to break this up into both my away and my home hardware setups, and then I'll do a follow-up with my software setup. It's going to change throughout the year, but I wanted to start today with my away game hardware setup because that's the simplest setup that I will run. Time and access are the two things that make me need to keep this very simple. Running to an away game, I may not have the time to set a lot of equipment up, and I may not have access to all the areas of the field that I would like to set a camera. So let's go through this year's baseball streaming setup. Obviously, we'll start with a control device. It's gonna be my iPad Pro 11. It's an M1 processor. It'll handle anything that I throw at it. I will be running the multicam software with Mevo with the Mevo Pro subscription so that I can bring in my extra phone as a Mevo Go source. Whether I'm running pre-roll and sponsorships or, or whether I'm using it as an extra camera, it's gonna be valuable in this baseball stream. So my iPad will be where I run my software from, and I'll score the game as well through the iPad using Stage Manager to keep my screen split. I'll be running multiple Mevo cameras in addition to an extra iPhone or two to handle the Mevo Go part of my live stream. This year I'll be running the small rig W60 as my in-game sound. The windscreen is a big part of why I'm doing this. It's an excellent little windscreen that snaps into place. And it has some features that I really like, like concealability. As I need data, I'll be running my Insego MiFi hotspot from T-Mobile, and I'll be pairing that with my Slate AX. The wind is pretty stout today. I don't know if it's coming through on the microphone right now or not, but I'll be pairing that with my Slate AX travel router, which can be powered with a power bank. So that's the big pieces for handling the workload of a baseball live stream. But it seems to me it's the little pieces that help us make the stream what it should be. Things like our cold shoe mount for the back of your Mevo that's gonna allow you to aim a mini shotgun mic, aim a mini shotgun mic to catch those game sounds. It will mount right here on top, secure into place, and it's a great way to do it. It can also be used with the arm part of the magnet mount and mount another Mevo beside it. But one of the things that I'm really excited about this year is taking that same mount, adding a quarter 20 to the top of it, and then taking this little 3D printed shelf that I've made in order to secure my travel router on top of that. Obviously, I'll be using my reusable zip ties to secure this on top, but that can be set right on top of my monopod or tripod that I've got pointed this camera, and it gives it up out of the, out of the way and makes it sure everything is line of sight for that wireless signal. The clamp mount will play a big part this year as well, as there are many fields that I don't have access to a good magnetic surface, and this will allow me to attach to the top of a fence and still have the adjustability that I need to get the shot that I want. The final piece that keeps this up and in line of sight is going to be this tray that I have printed that holds my Insego MiFi hotspot. It's going to allow me to attach it to the top uh, section of my shift cam travel tripod, and it clips into place within close reach of my Slate AX travel router in order to attach the two together for the streaming. What about you? What will your travel setup look like for baseball streaming for 2023? Let me know in the comments.